Uh, he is uh, obviously a friend off the ice, and I think uh, when it comes to the rink, someone that uh, he can turn to and talk to me when it comes to times where there is some adversity. Any feelings about coaching against Pete? I don't. This would this no. be your first time coaching against him at the NHL level? Or? Yeah, this yeah. is the first time ever. ever, and it is. And you know, it's special. We uh, went away this summer and, and had an opportunity to to connect, and obviously had dinner last night. So it's special in the sense that it'll be the first time that uh, that we will work against each other. And, I wouldn't be standing here today if it wasn't for Pete DeBoer. He took a chance on me a, a long time ago as, as an assistant coach with the Plymouth Whalers, and uh, I owe my career to him. So it'll be a special night. Yeah, know his plays a little bit more in his playbook, his yeah, style a bit. Yeah, we do. And uh, obviously, we, we, we talk hockey, but um, we know how well coached the New Jersey Devils are. Uh, we know their attention to detail, and we know how structured they are. So it's going to be a tough hockey game, and I know he's one of the premier coaches in this league. So it's going to be a tough hockey game. Do you remember when, when you guys acquired Clarkson back uh, in, in Kitchener that yep. the first time you were going to go and bring him to introduce him to DeBoer, he was wearing maybe his hat backwards and you advised him? Uh, yes. <laughs> yep. So you've always been looking up for him. What, what, do you, what do you remember about the first time you met him? Well, I remember I watched him play Tier 2 in Aurora and then obviously in Belleville. And when we traded for him, uh, his... Uh, I remember I said you, you don't have a second chance to make a first impression and then he came in with his baseball hat on sideways and it, it's funny how things work out uh, here we are all these years later I'm still telling him how to dress and put his hats on so it's great but you know he's he's come such a long way the, the great thing about David Clarkson he's a player that's earned everything that he's got he never came through our national program he didn't play in all-star teams everything that he's got to this day he's earned and uh, that's why I give him a lot of credit. In terms of how he's playing right now, obviously the goals are there. You can always get better. How do you assess where he is right now? I mean, just by virtue of the fact that things are going better than last year, it was like, you know, it's, right. it's going well, but where can maybe he even improve this year? Well, I think he wants to be a guy, and we've talked about it. You know, if there's a, a situation in a game where we've got a six on five, or if we're de defending a lead of five on six, he wants to be one of those go-to guys. So it's something that we've talked a lot about lately. He wants to be a trusted player, not just five on five or on the power play, but late in games when we're trying to get a goal or, or defend a lead. So that's something that he wants to get his, his game to, and that's something that I think is attainable.